So you must own one of these bad boys, huh? Getting it on them keys, too. But these pad... Wait, what's going on with the pads? What ain't working? Ah! Slice X ain't cutting it with these samples, huh? You trying to be in the studio like this, right? Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm dot com and I got you. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get you almost like an NPC, but I know it's not the same. But if that's what you wanted, that's what you should have bought. All right. And once we got our sample loaded up here. I got this uh, from Splice. But we'll go ahead. Um, set all these channels to the master fader on the mixer. And then we'll replace the first one with a Slice X uh, plugin. It's a default plugin that comes from Fruity Loops. Once that's loaded, we'll want to choose the sustaining preset. And now, once you have everything set up, you can have a preset like me. But let me show you how to get to that point. Once we've got sustaining uh, chosen, we can go ahead and load our sample up. cutter icon with some, like a marker icon over here that's how you can chop your samples I choose large grid because it usually works with the type tempo of samples I use but you see here I can play the sample out on the keyboard but if I go to the pads well let's see <laughs> I'll show you how to fix that. Go to the other bank, nothing. Go back to the first bank, and I'll show you how to get your samples from down there on the keyboard up to the pads. But the reason why that's happening is because these samples are linked to uh, lower octaves on the keyboard. I haven't figured out how to fix it, but once I do, you'll be the first to know. Anyways, we'll right click on the marker and then we'll go to trigger note, last hit for whatever pad you want it to play out with. And then go back to all the other ones, trigger note, last hit. You could just hit the pad at that point and it'll do the same thing. Make sure you don't uh, select it and do that, otherwise, it's going to make that whole selection uh, trigger on that pad and you don't want that it's gonna be a messy chop and i'm just gonna go ahead and skip through all the rest of these now once we've got all our samples linked to the pads we're not done yet we've got to go to each pad and change the cutoff to one Reason being is right now, I don't know if you heard it or not, but the samples were playing over the top of each other. And I don't like that, so I'll show you how to fix that. Just going to speed through the rest of these. But yeah, just go to the top to region settings, select each chop that you've chopped up. change the cut off to one the cut and there we go and now your mpk mini is basically mpc with the keyboard attached to it and thanks for watching if you made it this far might as well stay tuned and watch me make a beat with these chops and if you don't and you just want to get to making some fire beats I understand that's how I was too looking up these tutorials but 
I really made this tutorial because all this information is available online, but it's so scattered that I figured I'd make, you know, a general purpose video for anybody that's starting out. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is my first ever YouTube video, so hopefully it wasn't that cringy. And anyways, uh, stay tuned for the beat. It took so long to export this specific video that I ended up making a song while I was waiting out of the beat that I made from this song. Yeah. If you want to hear that, stay tuned to there. Anyways, it's dot com. I'm checking out. And I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. I'm out. Looking like a bandit For the times I was abandoned My checks is always clear I'm working, checking gear Only competition is a old me Nigga ain't worried about your peon I'm too cool for that, I breathe free on I don't be what you pussy niggas be on My bitch like Queen B, but like Brian